first of all, kind of identifying in terms of, if we're talking about fitness right now, in terms of, you know, what exercises or modalities of exercises do you enjoy? Because we kind of have to enjoy it. We want this to be fun too, right? So, you know, saying that maybe, you know, maybe you join a group that meets multiple times a week for running or walking or snowshoeing, or maybe you um, join Flow State or find a, a gym in the area or an, you know, an online fitness regime or hire a coach. Mm -hmm. These are all different ways for you to, you know, keep yourselves, you know, keeping on that exercise train, right. And being consistent. So you're not just doing like a one and done workout and being done with it. I know personally for me, it's walking with some other friends and trying to stay indoors when it's the weather's like it has been the last couple of days and stuff like that. Yes. Yes. Stay safe. Yeah. Yeah. And that's a real challenge in our climate to be able to, you know, find a form of exercise that you can do safely and you're kind of out of the element. So good job for you <laughs> to find a walking crew with friends, but that exact thing. So how do you, like you just identified maybe a hurdle or something that could maybe prevent somebody from being consistent. So how, you know, how can you, as a person, we are going about your goals, fitness wise or not, how can you anticipate what are, what are some of the potential hurdles, right? What are some of the things that might knock me off course and kind of pre-plan for those. That's also a really big, big um, thing that you can do to help um, just achieve your goals. What would be another tip that you might offer someone? To achieve their goals? Yes. Yeah. Well, you know, really writing out again, writing out the why, um, writing out baby goals along the way is really huge too. So sometimes, or a lot of the time, we have this sort of monster goal. We tend to want to kind of get extreme um, with it. So, you know, it's January 1st, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run a marathon. I'm not running at all, but I'm going to go do that. And that's a doable goal. Or, you know, I, I want to read more. Or I'm going to read, you know, 80 books this year. You can totally do that or learn a new language, whatever your goal is. But, you know, to help along the way, you need to break those into micro goals or smaller goals along the way that you can hit. And every time you do that, you're able to, um, I mean, you give yourself another sort of point to reach and you can kind of, you know, back plan and figure out, okay, to get to that point, what do I have to do? And then how do I get to the next point? And you can kind of cheer yourself along the way and give yourselves little incentives along the way too. So then it doesn't feel so big anymore. It feels like these, these sort of bite-sized chunks that you can tackle. Yeah. And you really open up that whole that um, getting healthier in the new year does not necessarily mean diet. It doesn't necessarily mean fitness. It could be a whole um, a whole array of different ways to be healthier in the new year. Absolutely. I'm glad that you brought that up because I was thinking that um, when we was kind of thinking about coming and talking about this today. It's, you know, we tend to think about it being, you know, this like weight loss thing all the time. And, you know, it's really not, it can be so many other things. And, you know, maybe somebody is re recovering from an illness um, or maybe they are kind of recovering from an injury or maybe they want to improve how they show up in relationships or their faith or their, you know, their finances or just education wise or learn a new skill. So it can be a whole lot of things. And that's actually really fun if we can kind of get out, you know, get out of that fitness box we um, can improve kind of our, our relationships, our, our mental health, our relationship with ourself and our, our mind and our body. So it can be a really cool thing. And you're offering a 30-day um, um, New Year's challenge. Why don't you tell us about that and how that yes. can help you there? Thank you. Yes. So Flow State, um, Flow State Fitness is offering uh, what we call a 30 for 30 New Year's challenge. So the 30 for 30 means 30 minutes of movement, intentional movement or exercise a day for 30 consecutive days. And it's what I like to think about this challenge is it's, it's a, a movement fitness challenge, but it's a challenge of consistency. And you and I just talked about how important consistency is to reach our goals, right? So and that helps form habits. So we're, we're getting people to, you know, um, try to not, not make excuses or may, maybe I should rephrase that, um, plan around what might happen in their life to make exercise and movement more of a priority if that's what they want. So at the end of it, you know, they can feel just so much better, feel better in their skin, have the satisfaction of knowing that, you know, they did that every single day along the way. 
and they probably are going to try some different forms of exercise as well with us as we've got, you know, yoga, Pilates, cardio, stretching, you know, meditation videos, even, you know, all these, all these different modalities um, on our website. So we really just want to get people kind of back on the fitness wagon and reaching their goals, feeling just better in their body. 